Hey everybody, welcome to AJS News. This is the first of two videos we've got for you today. Joe's back! <laughs> <laughs> Always good to see you back, Joe. Uh, but first, a word from our sponsors. If the clothes makes the man, what does that say about me? I live my life one costume at a time. So I let my accessories define my style, my phone, my watch, my wallet. Well, maybe not my wallet. Oh my god, gross. I need to stop keeping candy in here. I'm getting an extra. You should too. Go to extra.com slash angry joe show for 25% off smart wallet. That's an even deeper discount than before. Upgrade your style with extra. Grab yourself one of these. You use it every single day. Every day. You probably, I mean, multiple times a day. Oh, I yeah. still get compliments on it, guys. Click the links down below. So support Extra. They support our show. Uh, let's jump into the news. What the hell happened over the past week? Uh, Alex. Amazon is getting into something that uh, I love, but oh, it's kind of weird. Oh, uh, happy 4th of July, oh, everyone. Yes. <laughs> That's right. After yeah. this, we're going to go pop some fireworks. Mm -hmm. uh, Amazon's getting into necromancy. What? Um Explain yourself. Uh, so they want to use Alexa to imitate dead relatives. Oh, and they, I heard they about that. They played this thing where like a little girl's like, "I want grandma no, to finish no. reading me Wizard of Oz," and That's then the funny. Alexa using grandma voice. It's like this sounds exactly like one of your movies. <laughs> Alexa, can grandma finish reading me the Wizard of Oz? Okay, but how about my courage? That's creepy, man. <laughs> That just make me instantly burst out in tears. I'm not sure why anybody would want that, you know? Uh, I have no idea, but it sounds fucking horrifying. So. That is creepy as fuck. If that goes off at night when you're trying to sleep, throwing that shit away. Oh, yeah. oh man, yeah. that's <laughs> fucked up, Joe. Uh, you know, the, the only thing I would see this useful for is simulating uh, celebrity voices. I would like my Alexa to sound like, like Michael Jackson. Either Time my, to go to bed, AJ. No, that's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> I would do Tee. like Arnold or or so, somebody fucking cool it's like uh, Butcher, Carl Irvin, but uh, not 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 dead relatives that I miss. And if I hear their voice, I'm gonna fucking you know break apart. Damn, nope. Amazon, yeah. that's crazy. It's like what a weird that fucking is too thing. much. Yeah, um, I don't know. They're like showing yeah. off what it can do. And it's like nope, don't want that at all. Kill it with fire. It, so there's a video. Yeah. I'll have to check that out later. Yeah, it's... Uh, is, is this a real thing? Is this a concept? Or is this coming out later this year? I mean, what uh, are we talking about? So, Conference of Las Vegas, a function that will let the digital assistant use audio samples of less than a minute in length to synthesize a voice. Mm. So, you play them a short clip, and then it tries to imitate mm -hmm. whatever. And it's like... Mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. It sounds like a... The machines are terrible taking over. Terrible B, B movie idea. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's uh, call it Amazon. We'll, we'll star in it. I want to be the first one to die. Um, all right. People were... This story. Uh, Valve quietly downgraded Steam Decks, SSDs on some 256 and 512 models. Um, this was a story that a couple people were really, really mad about because they thought that they had paid for something way in advance. They signed up. They did all these things. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they were getting an inferior product. Uh, it all comes down to, I'm going to read you the exact specifications. Uh, some def uh, Steam Decks would be coming with PCI Express 3.0 <coughs> times 2 SSD instead of the initially specified times 4 SSD. Now, in theory, that can change some data transfer speeds and some other things. And then people kind of got up like all nasty about it. And they were tweeting, like, you lied to me. But Valve quickly got back and told everybody it's not as big that as it's you like, think. look, it, it, in extremely uncommon cases, differences in read-write speeds may minimally impact file transfer speeds, but operating system performance, loading times, game performance, and game responsiveness are identical between the two. Stop it. It's just more there's a supply chain issue, and we could have delayed everything months and months and months and months, but we determined in-house that this isn't an issue. So, I don't know, man. I mean, not, I don't like that. If I paid for something get what you pay for. and I want what I paid for, yeah. I need to at least be alerted ahead of time. Mm -hmm. I need to be told, and then I need to be given the option of getting my money back. Yeah. Uh, now, in this case, if if I had gotten a Steam Deck, I'd be cool with it because you're right. It, it, it seems like the difference is negligible, very, very small, but mm -hmm. there is a difference. They're even admitting that there's a difference. Uh, when that happens, you need to inform your customers. You need to give them an option of a refund. Uh, so I can understand a little bit of blowback. Yeah, yeah. Ex exactly. You need to be upfront with it. 
because then this happens, <laughs> someone's going to find out. Because it's a sneaky. It's going to be the worst thing ever. Yeah, when you're up and front And it could have been way worse. Yeah. That's why you need to install, like, rules, and because they, then they'd be like, oh, well, that, that was cool with them. Okay, well, let's just, uh, let's go ahead and go from a uh, 100 gigabyte to a... Uh, Megabyte? Five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Five gigabytes. Wait a minute. And so won't even install a single Call of Duty game. Mm-hmm. Now, obviously, that would never happen. Uh, well, at least I hope not. So, you know, you got to let people know. Yeah. Uh, there's way, if you want to know exactly how to find that, you go to PC Gamer and they'll tell you exactly how yeah. to find the, if you have the one and then and you complain is, about it. And there is, there's totally supply chain issues right now. It's affecting oh, yeah. everything. everything. Like, even stuff that I wouldn't think it would affect, it's, it's affecting, so... Board game industry, definitely. Um, so we just got to be patient. Obviously, you know, go from there. Uh, well, we got an interesting story. Uh, Nintendo fans are uh, a special bunch. And, they sure uh, some are. Some of them are. They're very. We love them. We love them. And this one is hardcore because he bought forty thousand dollars in Nintendo stock just to get invited to. Uh, now this, this guy, I like. Yeah. So he's like, look, I want to know why there is no F Zero games anymore, and they're like, look, you have to ask the CEO. He's like, well, when do I have an opportunity? He's like, you're not a major stockholder, and he went out and spent nice. real money to go, and he was wasn't even I guaranteed. Fucking like this guy. He wasn't even guaranteed to get the question answered, right. uh, and he got to answer. But ask he his took question. initiative, he, Alex. He did, <laughs> and he got I his love and, it, and he asked the question, and then the CEO gave him. It is realistically difficult to develop new Pretty titles and remakes, answer. including sequels for every Nintendo game that people request, but we are very grateful and appreciate the expectations our fans have of our games. He paid 40000 for that. Yes. That's a, Thank it's you a, for a little bit. It's response. a waste of money, but look, if you're <laughs> ultra rich or whatever and you want to fucking do that to, to like, for it, because I immediately think of all the shit that I want to fucking tell WB Games with regards to Superman and how they're fucking handling his stocks. universe <laughs> and the movie universe. I feel, yeah, like, well, I, I, if I was more rich, then yeah, if I had like well, pie money stock. or something like that. He can sell the stock again and just get his money back. Okay, and true. If so it goes like, up, maybe he has enough to buy a cheeburger. Yeah. So, like, so it's like, hey, why are you guys win, win fucking up the yeah. DC universe? When are we going to see another Superman? Or buy up some, some Disney stock and, and <laughs> ask questions about Star Wars and quit fucking Star Wars. Uh, so, you know, g- good on this mega fan. Uh, but from an outside perspective, from a gamer's perspective, I don't give a fuck about that game. <laughs> but this motherfucker, I guarantee you, would buy but like... this is his Superman, though. That's this right. That's Superman. what I'm saying. I'm just saying from my... He probably doesn't give a fuck about Superman. Exactly. Uh, but what I'm saying is he, he probably would buy at least 40 copies, yeah. 100 copies if they made a sequel. So good on him. Uh, I like that story. If you want to know why he's not getting the game that he's getting, it's because Nintendo Mobile Division is experiencing a tremendous amount of growth, and their focus is elsewhere. Uh, Fire Emblem Heroes is the first Nintendo Mobile title to hit one billion with a B in spending. No, Uh, Nintendo. Oh no, they're gonna they're gonna hit a little hit of that billion mobile game. They're like, it's not Nintendo's fault. Oh shit, this shit is your fault. This shit is good. Now Nintendo, ooh, that's dangerous, boy. And we already, you know, had hints of, you know, Nintendo characters. And then there was like a really shitty Dr. Mario one. So they've had hints here what and was there. Was that Chocobo Racing? Was that the, the yes. one? That was the one so that was square. like. that's Square. Yeah. That's Square. The, Nintendo has had a few, but a billion? This oh, it was, is, was it Don- it was a racing. It was a racing game, right? This has, yeah, there was a racing game, too, yeah. of Nintendo, where you had to like, I, I don't know, kart, kart racing or something, something like, like that. Something like that, yeah. But a uh, billion dollars, this is the kind of shit that can change uh, corporations' direction. It's like, look, we barely had to do anything. And yeah. Look at how much money we got. All right. Mm-hmm. So, Put everything uh, behind a time gate. Cancel okay, that, that next uh, you know, Zelda or Mario. Put the development money into paying us and then uh, pay a few bucks to a mobile game developer and let's uh, crank out another um, shell of its former glory Sad. in mobile form. Clicker. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, okay, so I'm going to look this game up. It's uh, which game? Uh, that's Fire Emblem. All right, cool. Fire Emblem what? It's for mobile? Heroes? Oh, yeah. yeah. The, the Fire Emblem Heroes is a mobile game that came right Heroes, up, so yeah. I assume that that's the <laughs> one. Yeah. 2017. Um, it's a 4.5 out of 5, says Google Play. Man, these fucking <laughs> reviews, these bullshit. I don't There's know. Only I mean, five, million million. <laughs> five million downloads, five million downloads, half a million reviews. 
Um, and it's at 4.5. Oh, man. Don't play this shit. Yeah, it's lo- it looks like, you know, tactics where you yeah. move the guys, but then it's probably it's like tactics. gotcha it's where if you want a guy that's really, really good in a pack, you bust a pack. Mm-hmm. It's right. like this chick's wearing clothes. Baby. Would you like less clothes? Less clothes. Give us some money. 0.12% drop rate yeah. on the one where you could see a little pixel of a panty. Oh. Ooh. Uh all right, I got Sad good news. news. I got good news. <laughs> okay, you know uh, Denuvo uh, DRM. You know the one that's ru- it runs a bunch of game launches and it, it, it's always impacting. People. I oh. do know of that. Yes. Yeah, there's a new one coming out. Uh, so now we'll have an old version and a new version plaguing our systems. A uh, new version of the DRM software is coming. Uh, uh, coming soon. Yeah. Oh. It's gonna be great because the old one uh, turns out wasn't actually very good, no. and a lot of people were able to bypass it pretty no. easily. Yeah, and all it did and it was would ruin your. But your they fixed this game. one, right? You would That's mess up did? your computer. It would record bullshit that it needed to mess yeah. with. So a lot of people complain that it's the DRM, and they're like, "Oh, it's not always fair." That, but there are cases like Resident Evil Village was the problem where everyone was having issues with it, and it was the DRM. Um, and provably was the DRM. So this is something that people, gamers, aren't typically excited about. Yeah. Uh, we're getting a new one. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, for whatever reason, the game companies really like them. Mm-hmm. Um, and so just expect this new version to be... Well, you know, hopefully they take feedback Some because your shit sucks. Please make it <laughs> new better. bugs. Alex, I want to go back to your last story, uh, uh, yep. Fire Emblem. I went into the uh, user reviews, and I got one here. Uh, the gameplay, events, art, original tracks, and voice acting is all very good. However, the rest of the game is not pretty. The premium car- currency is scar- scarce, and buying it doesn't even give you a lot. New units are regularly added that outperform nearly anything else in the game. Yes. 95% of the units in this game are acquired through predatory gotcha, Luck of the draw system. And on top of that, the premium subscription that was added is almost $120 a year. Overall, my experience was lukewarm. Three star out of five. Give it a three? Yes, it's that kind of shit. You know, this it's I was expecting a uh one. I know, right? It's a mega Nintendo fan, and even mega Nintendo fans have to when it comes out of their mouth, yeah, this is terrible, dude. I'm losing a lot of money. All these units, I have to buy constantly units, (laughs) sucking me dry, and it's not all that great. Three out of five, (laughs) which is six out of ten. Oh, okay. Anyways, so Fuck you, Nintendo, man. You you sucking on that titty, boy. <laughs> that microtransaction titty. Get off that shit, please. Mm. That's sad. Yeah. All right. Well, hopefully it won't affect uh, you, you know ma- major news? shit. <laughs> Uh, they get, no, this is this this next one is actually the actually is good news. <laughs> Xbox Game Head is confident, mm. confident that Bethesda is not crunching. Uh, Matt Booty reportedly said it's Matt unfair Booty. to attribute crunch culture to just one studio, um, but says he's confident, no crunch Bethesda, so I cannot wait for the uh, expose <laughs> in six months to a year. Massive crunch at Bethesda, you know, employees forced to sleep under their desks. and No, sh- I, I don't buy it, Alex. I, I think maybe, I mean, it. We all know the culture. We all know they've mm. endured crunch multiple times. We know the result of the crunch, Fallout 76, and uh, you know previous bugs and all of their uh, amazing RPGs. Uh, but I think that if Xbox is coming out and saying, look, we bought them, we're good now. You wouldn't say that unless you don't want that shit thrown in your face years from now. So I'm going <laughs> to read to you some previous Matt Booty quotes. Yeah, uh, yeah. Crunch is just part of the industry. Oh. And uh, I don't want to say, I don't say that to justify it. I'm just saying it's part of the culture of the industry. I literally slept under my desk earlier in my career, and we looked at that like a badge of honor. Ugh. Matt Booty quotes. Um, yeah, he clearly He doesn't did, consider it crunch, but it is. He <laughs> clearly did not, uh, you know... Um, his view was much different uh, back then. So maybe he's had a change of heart on Crunch yes. and realized that it actually contributes negatively towards development and gaming, which it really does. And it makes games shittier as you try to rush them to a release date. Yeah. We are a f- fan and a proponent of delaying games until they're ready because you get okay. it right the first time with our money. And we've seen what happens over and over, if you don't get it right the first time and they're in a rush and a tizzy to try to fix it afterwards and it's failing, 
So then the company says, well, is this game even making money? Do we even want to put more resources towards fixing what we didn't fix and fucked up in the first place? Yeah. He, ne- he needs to take it serious. And yeah. I think it does seem like, it, obviously, you're using quotes against him from the past. I think he understands, and hopefully things have changed there. But we'll see. I mean, that's one of the things that, uh, you know, a user can mark our video date, and then we they can will, take we'll a clip it later, yeah. of it uh, in three years. Uh, Starfield was the most yeah, the crunchiest, <laughs> game, crunchiest of all, game, game of all time. Of all time. Now, no, but, but it would it would be like the Elder Scrolls, right? Because oh. like Todd is under so much pressure to get that fucking shit done, and it's still like in pre production or something. Ooh. So, Longly. Booty himself has acknowledged that crunch still may take place without him knowing, and urged Xbox staff to trust the company's internal processes, which allows employees to anonymously report issues to HR. There so, you go. There's so, his out. There's his out. I didn't know. It's like when the boss walks in the office, everyone like puts the bottles of tequila away and they're like, no, no one does any of the, yeah. anything bad in here at all. But uh, it's just it's always strange when you have a, a person that is trying to create a headline because like, yeah. I'm confident there's no crushing. It's like you, you motherfucker, you can't yeah. be confident. People are gonna lie to you like crazy. You have people working at these companies that are not technically employees of these companies. You know, they're contractors and and such. And so there's always like these weird little loopholes. So hopefully they've learned their lesson because they got they got shit on in the past and yeah. and then we just move forward. Yeah. <laughs> All right, the the big one this week. I don't know why, dude. I just daydreamed. You know how some gaming companies they have like Nerf guns and Nerf guns wars, yeah, right. And then like the new CEO booty comes in, and then and one person just have the have the uh, <laughs> gall to, <laughs> to shoot, to shoot. In there to pop them. Yeah. and it just takes to his head. What was his reaction be? You're fired, or boom, he blows out his own Nerf gun and he goes at it. I don't know. Hopefully the com- company culture is changing for the mm. positive over there at uh, Bethesda and Ekbook. And the quality of games, too. Yes. yes. Please change the positive. All right, 343 reveals Halo's Infinite co-op beta launch date and details on how cooperative play works. Finally. Co-op. Yes. Finally. What about Forge? No? Dude, don't. Dude, oh. dude, no, come on. Okay. It's Just unfair. Gotcha. They're a small company. Just it's a little, a little, little, a little sh- tiny franchise that oh. no one cares about. It's okay. going to take them a long time to make a fucking finish game. Fuck. Uh, multiplayer beta. Um, this co-op beta will run from July? just the, the beta, July 11th to July 22nd. Allows registered players to tackle the entire campaign alongside of a buddy. Um, so well, no there's... previous story <clears throat> progress carries over. So players will be starting from scratch. Uh. Um, progress starting in the beta will not transfer back to the retail version as well. So this is something that if you are playing uh, with a friend in the middle of the beta, yeah, okay. you get pretty far into the game, yeah. and then you want to do it after the beta, mm-hmm. you can. So don't do not don't do that. Okay. Um, do, you, do you have to sign up? Is it is it available for everybody? Is this like a closed thing? It's, it's using the similar beta system they've used in the past. So Not a whole lot in July, again. Uh, wasn't a whole lot in June, not a whole lot in July. Um Arcade Geddon, DC League of Super Pets, <laughs> we could cover. Stray. Now that Joe's back, maybe we can cover Stray. you know some of the stuff we had in June. Uh, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Starship Troopers, maybe you know next week or this coming week. But uh, it, yeah, maybe we, we we'll jump in on our Twitch. Follow our Twitch, uh, Twitch.tv backslash Angry Joe Show, and maybe we can get in on this uh, multiplayer test for. Because, uh, you know, that's Halo, dude. It's playing it together. Co-op on Legendary. There goes your nostalgia again. Yeah, but I... Uh, it's not I, the same. I was supposed to do that... Uh, a long time ago. A long time ago. When I cared. Yeah. Okay. So. Well, 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 we'll check it out. July what again? 11th Eleven. through 22nd. Okay. So uh, you will, you'll have enough time. I mean, the I'm campaign is so way. short that even on Legendary, dying over and over and over, you're going to finish it in a couple days. Because that's another problem with the game. It was really goddamn short. We hear those uh, amazing Atriox quotes again. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Him him, him getting real throaty. (laughs) Oh, 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 God. I need to feel your warmth on my body. It's like, oh, jeez. Oh, man. I need to stop listening to these recordings. What the fuck? I really hope they're lifting weights because there's a lot of grunting happening, and I don't don't know. I hope that's going to be in the Paramount Plus series. And I hope they go that angle. Like, the writers are progressive enough, man. It's going to be sweet. Yeah. I love it. Okay. <laughs> They're going to oil each other's bodies. I'm uh, Mark my words. I mean, if they did the fucking uh, uh, Master Chief uh, commits a war crime by, by raping a, a, a prisoner uh, of war, 
uh, I don't put it past them <laughs> in order to uh, have some oily bodies between brutes and uh, have just hardcore brute sex. Dude, I'm looking forward to this. Next season, they're going to tease the brute sex with some cheeks here and there. We've seen them a little brute bit. Brute cheeks. Yeah. Brute cheeks. Got it. We, we got you. We got you. You have to watch it? <laughs> yes. Yeah. You And I'm going to keep your eyes over the whole time in that machine. <sighs> brute cheeks. Brute sex. Uh, all right. Tell me about Sly Cooper. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I saw this uh, uh, news story that Sucker Punch... Guys, we're not working. <laughs> they're telling you what they're not working on. Stop they're asking for They're not working it. on Infamous, and they're not working on Sly Cooper. If you're one of those people that is constantly asking them, shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's so weird that they have to, the, to say this, uh, that they're not working on Infamous, they're not working on Sly Cooper, and no other studio is either. Yeah. So this, uh, you know, the studio clarifies some things because there was uh, rumors of a Sly Cooper 5 or an infamous remake. And they said, look, um, our focus is we have no plans to revisit infamous or Sly Cooper right now. And no other studio is currently working on it. They do follow it up by saying these characters are very special and near and dear to our hearts. So while we'll never say never to reopening the doors on these for now, there are none of these. In development, and you know what? Honestly, this is fine because yeah. if they're working on Ghost of Tsushima too, like all the rumors yes. are, <clears throat> fucking a hundred percent. You focus on that. You, you make that. another amazing yeah. experience Tell that I will them. love from start to finish. Yeah. Let's put Sly Cooper away for a little yeah. while. Give me Ghost of Tsushima 2, then we'll talk. They, so, you know, Nintendo weirdos, they're Sony weirdos. And they're the ones that are constantly asking for this. And, and if you like Sly, I'm not saying you're a weirdo. It's just the, the people that would harass him to the point where they're like, all right, guys, here's Stop the block post. Enough. Like, cut it out. We're not ready to talk about whatever might be next, but we hope you'll keep following us whenever you're ready to share more. Now, the rumors were Sly Cooper 5. Infamous remake, those have now been quashed. So maybe this is a soft confirmation because the one rumor they didn't quash was a sequel to Ghost of Tsushima. So maybe well, that's we, what they're working we, on. They had put up job postings. <clears throat> I think we talked about this a couple months ago. Oh, yeah? They had put up job postings that they were looking for someone with narrative experience that was familiar with mm -hmm. Ghost of Tsushima and like a couple other things. It's like, this is definitely, mm -hmm. yeah. you're hiring for Ghost of Tsushima too. So. And to clarify, I am one of those weirdos because I do, I kind of would like to see a remake, or not a remake, or maybe... Yeah, maybe a remake too of Infamous. Oh yeah. Um, I, I haven't played any of the Sly Cooper games, at least not for any extended period of time. So I, I don't ha really have an attachment. But I remember playing Infamous and thinking it was all right. I mean, I liked Prototype better. I was a fan of uh, the Prototype series. Uh, go check out my angry <laughs> review of Prototype, where I kick a helicopter from. Yeah, mid that was amazing. Mid mid air. <laughs> Oh, All right. Jesus. Well, that's what I have. And then um, I do also want to mention that Blizzard uh, has acquired Spellbreak developer Proletariat mm -hmm. to work on World of Warcraft. So wow. I guess Blizzard doesn't even give a fuck about working on their own good shit. They, they want to focus on working on shit like Diablo Immortal, which we will have a story for you in yeah. the second uh, video. So... I just thought it was interesting. That. You uh, work on it. I don't want to work on this shit anymore. <laughs> this news comes just months before the launch of its newest World of Warcraft expansion, Dragonflight. Did y'all know that there was a new World no. of Warcraft expansion? Yeah, me neither. Um, the game's still going. But this purchase means that Pro uh, Proletariat uh, will be under the Microsoft Xbox umbrella uh, <laughs> with you know the acquisition of um, Activision Blizzard. So there you go. Mm. Uh, and they brought them on so it can hit quality and timing goals for its expansions. Wonderful. Thanks, neither, Blizzard. Neither party involved released a prize for the transaction. So pro probably millions. Not not billions, millions, because it's, you know. Uh, they probably gave them a bunch of five-star gems. Like, you know how much these are work? <laughs> That's a lot. That's in so Diablo this Immortal, is worth so fucking much money. nice. That is. Yeah. Fucking nice. The employees are like, sweet, it's man. Fucking rare, man. We got a deal, dude. Wait till I tell my wife. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyways, that all we got? Guys, check out Extra Wallet. We've got a great deal. Go to the link down below. You get you, They still Money have our, our custom wallets. Uh, there's a ton of stuff on there. You use this every single day. You might as well have one that looks amazing. Money uh, clip. Oh, yeah. Joe told me about the time he lost his wallet and he used a tracker and he got it.
Got it back. Never leave home without it. I told Joe one time that I didn't put the tracker in my wallet and I lost it. And I was looking all over and I found it in the crack of, you know, my, my car seat. It the edge of tracker. Yeah. It, I would have known right where it was if I kept the tracker on. So now I have the tracker on. All right, guys. So check that out. Hey, click the links down below at Extra. Supports our show. Supports. Uh, thank you so much. And we will see you guys on episode two. Bye, guys. 